Hello, welcome to Henry's Crafts and Arcade. The other day we were asking for ideas and somebody said they wanted us to do ornaments. Well, I really couldn't think of much, but I finally thought of something I thought would be really neat. And it's not something you normally see, okay? We're not making no elaborate glass ornaments or things you can't do. We're actually going to do something that you can do. Okay, oh, oh, and the other thing is, some of these things we're going to be making, actually the next uh, few items we're going to be making, if you have like a loved one in a nursing home or in a hospital and you have like this much space and you need to do something really, really small, this stuff can work and you can decorate their little area for Christmas. Okay? All right, so here we go. Now, a little embarrassed. I need uh, my iron to iron out these little wrinkles and um, I can't find it. So... <laughs> I'm doing an alternative. I'm using my <clears throat> straightener iron to uh, straighten out the wrinkles because I can't find my iron and I don't want to take so long. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, but I believe it'll work. I may not have it turned up high enough for uh, cloth. <laughs> it's supposed to be for hair, not cloth. Okay. That's okay. Hey, yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's a little too much. Ooh, I turned it up too high. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, you just make do with what you have. And sometimes it's, um, you know, um, iron straightener instead of an iron. So what I'm doing is I'm going to try to get these wrinkles out as best as I can with my <clears throat> straightener <clears throat> iron. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to glue this to my board here, and then I'm going to cut out the stockings that you see, and then we can take and make a hole at the top, and then uh, put the ribbon through it, and you can hang it up. You can hang it up either on a tree, if you can get a tree. Um, we're going to try to do a small tree later. But these will be too big for that. So you could like hang it up on their doorknob. You can hang it up around maybe even on a string and hang it into their um, another part of their room. So there's all kinds of possibilities. My dog is a curious dog trying to figure out what I'm doing. What are you doing? Who are you talking to? <laughs> The people on YouTube! <laughs> She's a sweet dog, but she is a curious dog for sure. So I've got to get these wrinkles out. <laughs> if I could have found my iron... Oh well, that's okay. This is not working. This isn't too bad, actually. It's actually getting the... Whoops. No, I don't want to put the wrinkle in. I want to get it out. actually working and that's really good enough for now we're just really showing you how to do it so let me go ahead and turn this thing off okay so I'm gonna put it here I kind of give myself a, a little bit of extra room on the side there okay I need um, a little mark. I need to make it. Well, I can do it with my fingernail. I just want to put a little mark so I know where I put my glue. No point in wasting it. And I'll just do it with my fingernail there. Because I'm going to put my glue on. I'm going to put this on. And then I'm going to cut out the... Uh, this whole thing off of it so yeah I see a little mark there so open up my glue here and you can see we just went and purchased some items we didn't uh, we didn't get any a real elaborate okay so 
So I'm looking where I got here. Making sure, oh, there we go. Like, where in the world did I put my mark? There it is. I want to make sure I get it all good and gooped up so that it's all done. There we go. Establish my line and I can go ahead and so I'm gonna glue this down and then uh, then we'll be able to cut and then we'll have something a little bit hard and firm uh, for the backing of the um, stockings that we're gonna cut out. Whoops. Get that glue stick going up. The next thing we're going to do, as he showed you the items there, is we're going to, oh, no, that's okay, is we're going to uh, put a nativity on there so you can, and you can do whatever size. There are little bitty nativities, but to be able to show you what we're doing, we kind of got a bigger one, and you can do whatever size you want. I think that should work. Looks like I got enough down. You want to make sure you put, you know, plenty of glue. You want to be able to get it to stick real good. So, alrighty. Now we're going to put this down. Mash it down real good. Make sure that it gets flat. Go from the center to the outside so that you get all the little any little possible wrinkles out stick it down real good on there so it's good and, and if you got a better glue that's fine i'm just doing something so to show you i mean it seems to be working really well but this way this is just showing you the idea and uh, it looks like the corners are trying to, I, I kind of did those last, so. I mean, I actually did them first, and so then I need to redo them a little bit. Corners are having issues, so make sure it all sticks down good. Make sure it all, I did those first and it kind of dried on me. So you got to be quick. That's why I was trying to hurry up, because it looked like it was drying, and it sure was. Okay. All right, all right. Anyway, this is something you can do and you can decorate a loved one's area. It's fast, simple, and easy. <clears throat> very easy to do. And then basically, I'm just gonna cut this. It should be glued down and it looks like that side that side dried fast. Okay. Do that again. I'm surprised that dried like it did. Yes, it did. Let's see if it can pass out. Oh, that one did too. Look at there. Let's do that again. Okay. I think I did that one again earlier. Alright. Okay. Alright, where was I? Alright. I'm going to cut this out. Now we got a nice firm base for our ornament or um, your um, hanging. Decoration, I guess, is a better way of, because it can be an ornament or it can be a decoration on a doorknob or a wall. Like I said, you can you can hang up like a string, and you can hang them on a string, or you can hang them around the room. So it's it's really you can do whatever you want with it, however you want to put it. But there you go. Uh, set that over there, hon. All right. 
Okay, so we got, we don't need that right now. We can put that there. <clears throat> okay. Hey. So. Alrighty. Go ahead and talk. I'm just, what, what, right, and right now I'm just working. Yeah, so talk, talk. All right, so now I'm going to start cutting the ones that are whole stockings. We don't have to worry about the piece of stockings. We're not going to do anything with those. And we don't have to cut them exactly so. We just need to get them out. They don't have to be exact unless you want to make it exact. So you could go and get whatever scene you want. You can get stockings, you can get Santa Clauses, you can get little nativities, whatever scene that you like. And you can see how it stays right there. Now that's pretty cool. All right. Now I can cut these all out. Just the ones that are whole. Don't worry about the ones on the side there that don't have all of the pieces. Like all that can go away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut another one here. Now when you get to like this other one that's beside it, I don't wanna cut I want to try to get around here so I don't mess this one up. So, you do want to be careful when you get to where you got two there. Once you get in past all the ones that aren't, um, aren't whole, then you want to be a little more cautious. Okay, there's another one. And so, we're going to cut, uh... Alright, and so we're going to cut another one, and I'm just going to stop with three for now for the video. And just to show you, because I got to do my nativity here. And it's ready to go. So I'm going to do one more here, and then I'm going to put the ribbon on it, show you what I'm doing there. Okay, all right, so I'm going to stop that for now. That'll, that can sit there. That's good right there. Okay, I'm going to open up our ribbon. And these are pretty inexpensive things. And I think that um, whenever, like if you have a, say you have a grandma or a grandpa oh, a, in uh, their nursing home, and, you know, you want to do something sweet for them. You can buy something that's already done. But I think if you made it yourself and brought it in and said, I made this for you, I think they would be, that would just be more special, personally. Um, yeah, get that off of there. I didn't want to, oh, there it is right there. I was like, where is the... I need to get the tape off, which is a little bit stronger than I... There we go. Get it over there, so... Okay, it doesn't... It's going to stick to me now. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. Huh? Get a hold of my stuff. Okay, I don't need to do every one. I'm just going to do one. So I'm going to pick a spot here, probably right here. And I'm just going to go on through it with a little Tug. Tug. poke. I'm going to put a little slit in it so that I can get the ribbon to go through is all I'm wanting to do. Alrighty. Okay, so we don't need much ribbon. So we can do... <clears throat> that, that's fine. And then, uh, let's see, we gotta kind of poke it through with the scissors here. I can probably get my skewer and do a better job at getting it through it. Yeah, I think I will. 
See if we can do this because I need to get to my nativity. Because that glue stick is ready to go. Look there, you. How come it won't stay in there? Get in there. There we go. Oops. Came out again. Ah, it doesn't like to go through. There we go. Finally, got it to go through. Okay. All right. So, and then you just basically tie it in a knot. And you have a Christmas ornament. And if you want, you can even hang them on your own tree. If you like something and you say, hey, let's do some ornaments. Let's hang this on our tree. So you can do that. My fingers are not wanting to work today. Oh, there. All right. So let's see. Let's do this. You want to put it in a knot. And... Possibly, yeah. Well, whatever. You can figure out how to knot it. Anyway, so there you go. And you can hang that on a doorknob or wherever in, in, in your loved one's room so that they can in have some little Christmas decorations. Okay, so that's that. We're going to leave that over to the side right now. Okay, so now I'm going to do the nativity. Now, I, like I said to you earlier, I chose to get the bigger one. These are actually little ornaments that actually have the little ribbon on or whatever you call it to hang it on a tree if you want to. So if you don't want to do it on a board or if there's not as much room to have some kind of a base for to, to put it on like we're going to do it, then, you know, just get it and hang it on the tree. No problem. So then you got, you know, a different kind of ornament. And, and what I mean by tree is we're going to show you that in the next uh, video, if you keep keep tuned and subscribe to the channel, you won't miss it. We're going to make a small tree and we're going to decorate it. And if you choose to, you could put ornaments like this on it. Right now, what we're going to do to show you that you can also do this for a small space. We're talking about having just a little bit of space to put up Christmas decorations for a loved one in like a hospital or a nursing home. Um... This is, this. we're just showing you how you can do something really nice for somebody. And uh, I think that they would really, really like it. Okay, so again, like I said, these already have the little thing on them. And um, you can either use, you can either use it, you know, to hang it on the tree. Or you can do what we're doing here, which is make a little scene. So I'm going to. Uh, let's see. Let's put all the camels together since we have kind of, so they got the whole thing in this one. We really liked this one because it had everything in it. I think I'm going to, if you just want to glue it down on something, you can cut these off. Right now, I think I'm going to leave them on there just because um, it's actually easier to, to, ha to handle it and to pick them up and everything. So, Let's see, that's Mary. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave those things on there. Now they have an angel. I like to try to put the angel up higher, but I don't have anything here to actually uh, elevate the angel at the moment. So I'm just gonna put the angel in the back. So I'm just showing you, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to give you ideas for Christmas and different things that you can do for holidays for the holidays and um for your loved ones that are possibly in you know the hospital or nursing home i'm going to put all the wise men on this side since they came in later actually just to be on the correct side, the wise men actually came when they had already moved to a house. But that's okay. We're just going to put them all off to one side. Okay, so this is kind of the way we're going to do the scene. The uh, baby was born and put in a manger. So we're going to put all the manger type. And then the, the wise men came in later. So we're going to put them like that. Okay, so now I'm going to use... 
again, this is an adult project. So I'm going to use the, uh, the glue gun here. And I'm going to glue all these little pieces down to the thing, which is really going to work well. I need to get that out of the way. So we're just going to put it all down. Okay. There. And again, you can use whatever size that you like. Okay, I need to put some more. Here it is. And that's my type of glue gun here. So I'm going to do this. Okay, do that. Oops. I'll tell you what. When this gives, it just keeps giving. <laughs> <laughs> I got glue. I'm going to have to clean up the glue because I got it everywhere. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Ooh, boy, it is just still going. Whoops. Move him over. Okay. I'll get him in there. I'm just trying to keep from burning my hand, too. Move this over. Okay. Okay, now do the camels. I'm gonna go ahead and move the door a little more. Just to make sure I got it. Oh, I just hit that, which is probably not necessarily a good thing. That's alright. Okay. Alright. Now that was really, really easy. Then you just clean it up a little bit. The, all the little stringy glue that ended up all over the place. Well, now if you do it yourself, you probably will take these little things off. But I thought it was a little easier to handle at the moment. So now if I want to, just go choo -choo -choo and take, cut them all off. Um, but see all this extra glue everywhere that I've got to kind of pull off. You see the, the little strings that ended up happening. Let me, um, let me, un I gotta put this up like this so it doesn't, I'm just gonna leave it down, unplug it. All right. Okay, so we got this little strings. I'm just kind of peeling it off because we don't need all the little pieces everywhere. And then, um, Pretty much, once you get all that cleaned up, you yeah. see there's little bits of glue that kind of ended up on top of things where they weren't supposed to be. But it's, you see how fast and easy that was and how actually fast and easy the, uh, the little ornaments that I cut out were. This is a really fast project. It's really simple. It's really easy to do. Didn't take hardly any time at all. And we're done, and I can finish cleaning all this up here in a minute. But looks like it's coming off pretty easy, pretty simply. So, um. okay, little spot there. Get that, and there you go. A little nativity. It's not gonna fall. You just set it down. Like I said, there were smaller ones which would fit on just a, a really small area. Um, they had they had so many different kinds that, you know, you really can just get whichever kind you wanted. I really liked the uh, more traditional look. And um, so I went ahead with this one, and which was a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. But um, again, this is just an idea and you can do it however and whatever kind you want. It's just to give you some ideas of things that you can do. And I really think that if, uh, if you did something like this for one of your loved ones, if you made it yourself, I think it would just, it would just be just wonderful for them. And I think they would love it even more and probably cherish it forever. So we are done. Thank you for watching.
like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video and uh, we will see you later.